Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's segment of Banassa the Stylist Study Hall, we're reviewing for the Florida Cosmetology State Board exam and today's topic is haircutting. First, I want to thank everybody who's been watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. I want to thank you all so much. So let's get into these questions. Lines a constant distance apart in the same direction that are used to create width in a hair design are A, vertical lines, B, diagonal lines, C, horizontal lines, or D, curved lines. The answer is C, horizontal line. Remember, horizontal lines add width to a design. The type of line used to make a hairstyle appear long and narrower is A, A, open line, B, vertical line, C, contrasting line, or D, curved line. The answer is C, contrasting line. Contrasting lines are horizontal lines and vertical lines that create a hard edge and form a A, 45 degree angle, B, 90 degree angle, C, curved angle, or D, 30 degree angle? The answer is B, 90 degree angle. The part of the head that is found by placing a comb flat on the side of the head is the A, peritheal ridge, B, occipital ridge, C, temporal ridge, or D, reference points? The answer is A, peritheal ridge. Placing a comb flat against the nape of the head and finding where the comb leaves the head can be used to locate the A, peritheal ridge, B, reference point, C, four corners, or D, occipital bone. The answer is D, occipital bone. The area of the head that is between the apex and the back of the peritheal ridge is the A, crown, B, front, C, sides, D, top. The answer is A, crown. Lines in hair cutting that are parallel to the horizon or the floor are A, horizontal lines, B, vertical lines, C, elevation lines, or D, weight lines. The answer is A, horizontal lines. Remember, parallel to the horizon horizontal line. Elevation creates graduation in layers and is usually described in A, lines, B, degrees, C, metrics, or D, sections. The answer is B, degrees. When you are building weight in a haircut, the hair should be held A, straight, B, below 90 degrees, C, above 90 degrees, or D, weight line? The answer is B, below 90 degrees. Remember, to build weight, the hair must be held below 90 degrees. The angle at which the fingers are held when cutting is referred to as the A, parting line, B, degree line, C, cutting line, or D, finger line? The answer is C, cutting line. The guideline where a small slice of the previous subsection is moved to the next position and becomes the new guideline is A, A, vertical guide, B, stationary guide, C, angle guide, or D, traveling guide. The answer is D, traveling guide. Any guide that moves is a traveling guide. On a layered haircut, if you want the hair to be longer toward the front, over direct the subsection to a stationary guide at the A, top of the face, B, front of the ears, C, front of the crown, or D, back of the ears. The answer is D, back of the ears. When cutting hair, a general rule of thumb is to stand or sit directly in front of the area you are cutting and to keep your body weight A, elevated, B, centered, C, angled, or D, movable? The answer is B, centered. Remember, even when you're washing hair, sorry, shampooing hair, you have to center your body or your back and everything will be hurting and you have to have good posture. Haircuts that generally have less weight than graduated haircuts are A, one length, B, 
blunt cuts, C, layered cuts, or D, tension cuts? The answer is C, layered cuts. A basic haircut where the hair is cut at 180 degree angle is the A, graduated cut, B, blunt cut, C, angle cut, or D, long layered cut? The answer is D, long layered cut. Remember, long layered is 180 degrees. Electric or battery operated tools that cut the hair by using two moving blades held in place by a metal plate with wide teeth are A, trimmers, B, cutting shears, C, clippers, or D, notching shears? The answer is C, clippers. The technique that allows you to cut the hair very close to the scalp, creating a flat top or square shape is A, comb over scissors, B, clipper over comb, C, notching shear over comb, or D, clipper under comb. The answer is B, clipper over comb. Okay, so you've made it through the first half of haircutting. Part two will be up next week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can find me on Instagram at Vanessa the Stylist. And also for hair, you can find me at Innocent Hair 9. On Twitter, it's Vanessa the Stylist. And on Facebook, it is at Innocent Hair 9. Thank you guys for watching.